Hey guys, good morning. Good chilly, frosty morning. Welcome to the construction site on Wednesday. Today, the concrete truck is coming. We're going to pour the concrete for our tie beams and the ledges and everything in prep for the roof. I had the roofing contractor over here yesterday to take a look and he said they're gonna come on probably Tuesday next week uh, once the concrete is set nicely to start on the roof for the garage which is really good news the guys after they're done here they're going to start on the slab for the top floor for the attic we're going to have a concrete slab similar as to the one we poured over here and uh, yeah so work is progressing okay and uh, yeah, I think we'll be ready for 10.30. So the boards that the guys are adding at an angle are there so that the wall doesn't lean inwards because the outside lean or like a push out or blow out that we had, for example, here on the walls, you know, on the, or the slab that is going to be covered up by uh, thermal isolation. But the stuff that is going to be inside of the building uh, is going to be only covered by some uh, like a finish. So if there's ir big irregularities, it's going to require some uh, grinding, hammering, or whatever to get it straight and level. So yeah, the guys are going to take care of that. that so we're now setting the I-beam in axis. So Pavel is lifting the aqua crop so it can slide from side to side. Alright, so we got a little excavator on site. The guys are going to dig for electric power. So they're going to dig us a nice thick cable. So we no longer depended on our thin cable, but some really good 50 amp power. <laughs> That's right. I think uh, it's going to be a big, big cable. So the guys are starting to dig the trench for the cable. They're going to put it in like a pipe that is going to be like a, a shielding pipe around the cable and they can push the cable through it later. I discussed with them all the possible error points where different uh, pipes are for example the telecom pipes and the drainage pipes and stuff like that. I show them uh, exactly where those are so they don't hit them and they're going to start to dig. So this is the pipe the guys are using. It's a pretty thick diameter. They're going to put the pilot inside and then the cable through it. So that's really cool. That's awesome. Happy to have the power, the big power coming. So we can run uh, everything without any more glitches and stuff. I think here the guys have a piece of cable. Maybe this is the cable of our diameters. Check it out. Check this out. Now that is some serious cable. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, let's go check on the guys on the construction site. No. Ah, oh. I just uh, put my face right on one of these rebars while ducking under the I beam I was coming up and I face planted this <laughs> luckily I got my glasses on man I could have lost an eye not funny not funny at all so the guys are almost to the end of the wall it's going pretty fast they're putting the pipe in they're back filling and then immediately putting a piece of uh, blue uh, plastic it's a uh, marking for uh, 
other excavation that there's something underneath. It looks sort of like this. We've been putting this down also on top of our pipe so that if they are excavating they might find it. And you can see the pipe is just underground and then the blue stuff is going on top. So, so really cool. Alright guys, I just got a call from the concrete place. The concrete is gonna be here in about half an hour. So, final touches and concrete time. Hey guys, it's snowing. I don't know if you can see. It's really cool. Yeah, I think you can see that. <laughs> well, it's November, end of November, so might as well snow, right? That doesn't hurt anything. You can pour concrete up to negative five, I believe, without any other uh, substances, add additives. But I guess, uh, yeah, this is fine, this is okay. Doesn't hurt as much, but it's just nice that it's snowing. I like snow. So now you guys are putting in some uh, eight millimeter bars on the bottom because we spotted that some of the rebar is lying flat on the boards on top of the windows. So we just need at least a little bit of concrete around it. So we're going to put some rebar underneath just, you know, just so there's at least something. Two centimeters will be better, but then the uh, shapes, these shapes would uh, be above the top. So it's a balance. And this is because we, uh, the guys, they put the uh, shapes on top of the bars instead of having the bars, the bottom bars through the shapes because there was something wrong in the corners. Or I don't know. But now, you know, it's uh, a bit of a waste to have them sticking out of the concrete. The pump is here. Time to get going. These guys are super pro. When I told them where the pipe is, they went 50 centimeters down with the excavator and then they are digging with the shovel not to damage the pipe. Really cool. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. The camera lens is all wet. It's snowing like crazy. But the snow doesn't stay because uh, the temperature is, uh, I don't know, 3 degrees or something. The guys are digging the trench and they found our telecom pipe so they can continue digging up. Alright guys, the concrete truck is here. Awesome. Let's do a final inspection, see if the, everything is alright. Then we can start pouring the concrete. So we uh, stopped the concrete for a moment because there are some uh, rebar pieces that need to get raised up. They're lying down in the forms. So the concrete guys have to wait just a moment. We're going to fix those. And yeah. Uh, that will be it. Move out of the way. Really, really cool. Big step for us. This tidying. So Mr. Powell is cutting down the board so they're not in the way of the pump. 
because the pump is colliding with the tree and we want to prevent that so yeah doing our best Alright guys, so another one for the box. It's supposed to be eight and a half meters. I ordered nine and we're missing half a meter to finish the job. A quarter meter is left in the pipes, but still there should be about a quarter meter over. Alright, so the guys they dug a, dug a trench all the way up to there. We're going to backfill it now. It's looking really good and in uh, quite a straight line. Alright, the concrete is here. The second truck with half a meter. We just gotta pour this, top this up. It's maybe a quarter meter that's missing. So that's how much I, I ordered, half a meter. Uh, just to be safe, it's gonna cost me lots of money because the concrete place charges for uh, empty meters on the concrete truck to cover costs of fuel. So this half a meter of concrete is going to be pretty expensive. Well, such is life! So the concrete truck is leaving and the guys with the excavator are also packing up the backfill, the trench. They compacted the little spot so I can get out of my car. And uh, that will be it for, for today for the concrete and the, uh, water, or the electric pipe and stuff like that. We're still going to do some uh, work on the ledge to put some anchors for the roof. I'll show you that in a bit. Alright guys, so here we are. The concrete has been poured. The guys are smoothing up the ledges. The concrete for the ledge. Really, really, really good. And uh, 
Yeah, with the excess concrete that was left over from the concrete truck. Here is a little puddle from the pipes and the remainder is way down there where the concrete truck dumped it. The guys are going to form up these uh, little walls around on the top of the mudroom and uh, we're going to fill those up with concrete too with the re remainder concrete so it doesn't go to waste and yeah there's one more thing we have to do with the tops of the walls I marked out with uh, green paint where there are going to be like anchors for the roofing structure let me climb over and show you those so we got these anchors delivered a couple of days ago and here we are these are the anchors they're pretty substantial the diameter for this is M20 and they're uh, half a meter long basically they go with this, uh, this end into the concrete and then the beams for the roofing structure get screwed on onto this thread we got some uh, washers pretty hefty so this is the setup this is pretty a pretty nice big bolt so these will go all around into the concrete with this uh, hook inside into the concrete and those will tie the roof to the building so it doesn't fly away in the uh, windstorm all right guys so it's past focus 30 and we're setting up these uh, uh, metal anchors for the roof these basically go into the concrete and they just stay there you can move them around a bit just to make sure they're up and straight and we're putting them all around the guys are over there working Alright, and here the guys they put together a quick form with uh, some, a piece of board and some bricks and they're uh, putting the remainder concrete into it just to form like a little sidewall on this uh, flat part here above the mudroom. So really simple, really easy. Alrighty guys, everything is in place. I'm gonna stay a bit longer just to make sure none of those anchors move. So probably an hour or two I'll go check on them once again, make sure they're aligned vertically up, doesn't matter exactly where they are positioned but most important is that they are upright so you can put a beam on top of it, it's going to be a 14 by 14 beam that spans the wall. So just have to make sure they are set correctly and yeah, then it's time to go home. Thanks for watching this episode, I hope you enjoyed this day as much as I did, I know I had a lot of fun. So I'll catch you next time, alright? Bye.